Well, good day. Here we are today looking in a beautiful neighborhood called Arroyo Grande, which is part of Anthem, an exclusive part just on the west side of Anthem, accessed by New River Road. And we're going to go in and take a look at this house that's going to be listed for sale. It's a 2,136 square foot single level home with a triple garage, three bedrooms, great room floor plan, and a heated pool in an oasis-like backyard. So we're just going to go in and have a look. Before I go in, I'm just going to show you the uh, double gate that's over on the side here. This is the only part of Anthem where the HOA permits you to park an RV or a boat. Um, so that gate is there if someone wanted to make a little bit of modification to adding more pavers here so you could swing a trailer or a boat in, that is allowed here. Okay, so we're going to go and take a look. As you can see, we've got just beautiful pavers that outline the driveway and paver sidewalk that lead to this front patio. Nice stone accents on the pillars. So here we are in the front entry. Now to the right of the front entry is the utility room and a, and a triple garage. That's the garage door there. There's the utility room that's got lots of counters, cabinetry, washer and dryer are included. And if I go the other direction, we go through the bedrooms area. But before I go that direction, we're just going to do a quick pan of the living area. And we'll come back right after. I've gone and checked out the bedrooms. Now there's two bedrooms and a bathroom on this side. They're split off on the other side of the house from the master bedroom for maximum privacy. So here we are, that is a king size bed. These are very spacious rooms. Big double closet. And here we have a nice long vanity with two sinks in it. It's always nice to have a window in the bathroom for bringing in that daylight. And then this bedroom, which also can easily hold a king size bed, is the largest of the two. And a nice double closet like the other bedroom has as well. So we're going to head back down the hallway, past the front entry where I came in, and take a nice closer look. So that entertainment center that looks like it was built for that wall, it's from Ikea, it's actually going to be included in the purchase. It's going to stay here. And that little portal there, it goes off to the left towards the master bedroom, so we'll go explore that last before I head out to the yard. So you can see a nice large great room, room for lots of large furnishings. Same thing in the dining area, it's very generous. Got the windows up above, so if someone wanted to put a Hutchin buffet there, it, you'll still have some nice daylight coming in. And then here's the kitchen. So there's nice crown molding on the custom cabinetry. Got granite countertops, huge eating counter. This is a pantry and all the appliances are included. So that includes the fridge, the gas stove, built-in microwave, and the dishwasher. So I can see the nice granite backsplash counter all the way around. Okay, so now we're just going to take another look, another view of the living room. And the front entry will pass on by and head over to the master bedroom. Okay, so this room is huge. It'll accommodate the largest bedroom suites. It's got sliding patio doors. Now that was an option with the builder when this house was built. And I'll just do a turn around in this corner so you can see where I came in. And we'll go and check out the master bathroom now. 
So it's got a separate tub and shower, a nice big window above the tub that brings in nice daylight. It's frosted, so you've got some privacy. You've got two sinks, nice long vanity with an abundance of uh, cabinets and, and drawers. Private toilet room. Spot for a nice piece of furniture there. And then a big walk-in closet that's very nicely organized. It'll hold a lot of clothing on both sides of the door. Okay, so now we're going to head out of the bedroom, around the corner, back through the great room. And we're going to head outside. So this is a 12,553 square foot lot. So it, that, that accommodated a nice large front yard and then an enormous backyard. And this was professionally landscaped you know, not long after this house was built in 2008 and they did a tremendous job. So we'll just walk through it in a second. I just wanted to point out that the full width of the house is covered patio. You know, uh, that was an option when this house was built as well. There would, would have been a smaller patio that was just basically in the, in the dining room area here. So this is the full width of the house. Okay, so I'm just going to walk down to the end of it so you can see the access into the master bedroom. It's right there. And they've got pavers that go to that side gate there. And that's where you've got access to bring in an RV or a boat if one would desire. Just alter the landscaping a little bit to be able to accommodate that. And we've got a nice collection of cactus and shrubs like lantana, palo verde tree, palm trees. So we're just going to stroll out into the lounging area we're surrounding the pool. Doesn't that look inviting? It's going to be about 90 degrees today which is just over 30 Celsius. So it'll be a nice day to jump into that pool. So, so here's a nice built-in fire pit here with a large lounging area. I'm just going to walk to this far corner and do a turnaround so we can have a nice look at it. It can be shaded at certain parts of the day. We get some definitely some cooler evenings in the months of December, January, and February, and even March at nighttime, so it's nice to hang around by the fire outside. Okay, and we'll just take a stroll on the pathway. Past the little fountain. Beautiful Ocotillo on the corner. And we'll just talk about this pool a little bit. Now it doesn't have one of those octopus looking vacuum attachments that's part of the cleaning. It's got the in-ground pop-up cleaners. So it's a little more expensive to do those when it's new, but it sure shows nicely and you're not swimming with that long hose attachment in there. And then it's built in there for an umbrella with a Baja step so you can just put a chair in the top step or the second step and just dangle your feet in the water. So plenty of room for lounging around in this beautiful backyard. So there you have it. We're signing off from Arroyo Grande in Anthem in the north end of the, of the valley in Phoenix. Bye for now.